Hey reacting to developers, welcome back to the channel. From the preview in the beginning and the title of the video, you will have well understood what, what we are going to create in this video. In today's video, we are diving deep into a popular UI pattern, the bottom sheet model. We won't be using any third party libraries. Instead, we will build React Native bottom sheet from scratch. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, this step-by-step -step guide will help you understand the ins and outs of creating this interactive UI component. So what's actually a bottom sheet uh, model? So think of bottom sheet model like a cool hidden drawer in your app. It's awesome because it lets you show extra stuff like options or details without taking up the whole screen. So this is super handy in apps like messaging or shopping where you want to quick access uh, where you want a quick access to uh, one or more information without jumping around too much. Bottom sheet makes your app look and feel fancy. So let's dive in and start our tutorial. Firstly, we will create the UI of the bottom sheet and then we will add the required animation factor to it so that it will slide up the screen. So if we see a bottom, uh, uh, what do we call that bottom sheet uh, model, this is how this item looks like. So we have a model screen, the complete model screen with a backdrop of uh, a grayish backdrop, the transparent grayish backdrop. And in that backdrop, there is a bottom sheet model like this. So this is the, this is the thing somewhat like this we will be building in this tutorial. So let's create the UI first for this model. To create the UI, first, firstly we will make another separate component for that. For that, you will have to create a file uh, and we will term it as bottom sheet.js. And now we will import react from react. Import view title from native and now we will create the component for that and we'll term it as bottom sheet and return like this and we'll export this component now default bottom sheet and now for now we'll create an empty view over here and a text over here to test it sheet okay now we will have to include this bottom sheet in our main app component or screen so for that we'll use the import statement bottom sheet from bottom sheet and then wherever we want to display it in our application we'll call this component like this so it gives an error property text doesn't exist so we have to include text here like this so you can see that this component has been included right at the bottom like this now we will style this bottom sheet screen according to our needs so for that we will include the style sheet component and create a style sheet at the bottom styles object style sheet dot create create the style sheet for that and we'll have a container or more specifically we will call it a backdrop and we will just pass this backdrop to style here style.backdrop styles.backdrop so now what we have to do if we look at the image 
this model is actually an absolute positioned item because uh, when ha whenever we have to just press a button to launch the model it will it will have to just display over the top of every item that is presently present on the screen so for that we have to make this an absolute position item so for that we will have to make this backdrop as absolute positioned so we'll make its position as absolute and we will give it a flex of one and from top we will give it zero so that it begins from top and we'll give it left of zero also and after that we will give it a background color of rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 and give it a transparency of i guess 0 0.5 or so so right now you can see that it's not taking the entire width and height of uh, the screen so for that we have to define a width and height for it so we will define width as 100 percent and height as percent so here we have put a semicolon so as we can see it's taking the entire width and height of the screen as you can see in the preview window and we are not able to click on it it's because it's an absolute positioned item and it is displaying over the top of it so now we will just create our main screen of the bottom sheet that is this thing so now for that we will create a view in the bottom sheet we will create a view and give it a style and we will create this bottom sheet here we will get give it a width of 100 percent and we will give it a defined height of i guess 40 percent or so and we will give it a background color of background color of white so right now you can see it is displaying over the top now to display it at the bottom of the screen we will give it a justify content to its parent to flex end so as you can see now this has been this bottom sheet is just displaying this white item is displaying at the bottom of the screen now we will give it a nice border radius border radius of 20 or so but we have to give it border top right radius of 20 and border top left radius of 20 so that the border radius is only on the top edges and not at the bottom now we will be creating something like this so we will create for example we will have a text and we will create a sign up window for now to make to keep it simple so login or keep sign up and we will give it a style of font size we will give it of 18 and font weight of bold hmm. font weight of bold and in the bottom sheet we will give it a padding padding horizontal of 15 and 
padding vertical padding vertical of 10 rather 20 I misspell this I forgot so now we'll be creating two fields password and we'll create a parent view and we will import text input and we'll have placeholder enter username and style we will give it styles dot input input and we'll create it style object right at the bottom input and we will give it a width of 100 percent height of 30 a border radius of 10 and a border width of border color of and we will give it also a padding a nice padding of I guess padding horizontal of 15 okay and now we will create another field for the password so enter password and secure text entry to true so that it behaves like a password field true so whenever we type a password in it it will just behave like a password field now we will give it a nice margin bottom because it's stacked one over the other so we will give it a margin bottom 10 yeah and for this view we will give it a margin top margin top of 15 or 20 will be good we have already created a button we will copy and paste that we have already created a touchable opacity on the main screen we will be using that button only and on the text field we will write login and we have to also copy this button styles from the app because we have copied the styles from that so we will copy and paste it right here yeah great looking nice now to keep this text in the center we will just align items to center so and we will give it a nice margin top of 25 i guess no it's way more 15 will be good i guess yeah so now our design for the model is complete as you can see the 
backdrop is visible the bottom sheet now uh, bottom sheet model is also visible and now the next step is to add some animation to it and as it should behave it should be popping from the bottom of the screen like a bottom sheet uh, element does i wanted to record this tutorial uh, as a single video but uh, it's getting larger so i have decided to break down this video into two parts so in the first part we designed this bottom uh, sheet uh, model and in the second part we will be uh, animating this model so that it will look nicely it will just slide nicely from the bottom to the top and uh, uh, the link for that will be provided in the description for the part 2 of the video and also it will be right now popping on your screens and you can just check it from there for now bye bye take care